Um, uh, you're going to, again, your intent is to amend the motion on the floor. Yes. I, okay. I move to amend the motion to require that inside temperatures in all non-air-conditioned general classrooms um, are collected uh, and analyzed uh, over the next 10 school days. So then we still, my motion, motion to amend yeah. still so stands. It would be separate. Okay. It would be voted on separately. No, it would just, no, it would That's be, an motion to, to amend would be voted on separately before, and then right. it would be a joint motion with right. yes. Ms. Johnson. Yes, motion. that's what I intend. All right. So is there a second to Ms. Johnson's motion? I mean, it's uh, Miller's motion. To monitoring the yes. classroom temperatures. I'll second monitoring the classroom temperatures in the non-air conditioned schools. All right. Is there a discussion about that? I'm sorry. Um, is this a motion that we can that can be done separate? Because um, I know personally I don't support 11, uh, the cutoff at 11. But I would be interested in having this data collected, if at all possible. Well, say that again. I'm sorry, I missed that. Oh, sorry. I agree. I'm. I agree with her. I. I don't believe eleven is appropriate. But if eleven gets passed, I want to make sure that we're measuring the temperatures in the room. So yes, we, that's okay. what I'm intending. I think I would be. But I would be more willing. So, again, you've seconded Miss Miller's motion. Is there any more discussion on that? Um, well, I would like to have an amendment also. Well, Let's. You have to vote on this one. Have have to, have well, it's a part. It's an amendment to that. Well, I have. Well, I think what we vote on one amendment at a time. Okay. So. Okay. Perhaps That's fine. it would be Long better to vote on the whole motion. That's yes. all. Yes. Uh, go ahead, Ms. Causey. I was just going to say, I have. There are a number of comments, and other people have not. Other board members have not made their comments, so I would. I do not want the vote to take place on Ms. Johnson's motion. primary motion until all discussion is done. All right, well, right now we're just voting on the amendment. Thank uh, you. There's no further discussion on the amendment. All in favor, please raise your hand. All those opposed? So the amendment does not carry. And what was the count? The three. And Mr. Stewart. And, and Ms. Williams. All right, let's uh, all in favor again, please raise to the I amendment. I didn't vote because I am so confused. <laughs> <I'm voting laughs> on. We're voting on Ms. Miller's amendment to. Uh, I know, but they're going back and forth. I'm getting yes. dizzy. <laughs> all right. Maybe it's too hot in here. <laughs> it is hot in here, actually. Oh, maybe it's so the, the amendment Ooh. did not carry. So now we're back to the original <laughs> motion that Ms. Johnson made. Is there further discussion on Ms. Johnson's motion? Uh, yes, there's further discussion on Ms. Johnson's. Okay, go ahead. Thank you very much. In all of the emails that we have received and uh, phone calls that I have received and in all of the media coverage that has occurred and comments to um, articles in the newspaper and also <laughs> comments on radio shows, what I have heard is a number of folks that are very concerned about their students, they're very concerned about their athletes, the teachers are very concerned about their students, and also there is some misunderstandings about the policy. So the first thing I wanted to do was to just quickly clear up about the policy 6303. Well, um, we do have a, a motion. That's, is this specifically addressing the motion that's on the floor? Yes, it all specifically addresses the motion. It's about the policy. It's making sure that the constituents understand that their questions and concerns about it are addressed up to this point so that when we make a vote, they'll understand the full ramifications of what we're doing. And also, I have questions of our um, staff to see that would inform what this vote, whether this vote should be approved or not. All right. We... Okay, go ahead. But we, we do need to, to, in order to allow the superintendent to give proper notice, if we don't change it, we'd like to have our vote prior to 8 o'clock, if we could. Okay, well, well that, that might